Just south of Renton, or in the city of Renton, or in the outskirts of Renton, Washington, is one of my absolute all-time favorite guitarists memorial, and that would be Jimi Hendrix. It's a beautiful memorial for him. I think I know the demographics of most of my viewers, and I think everybody or most everybody is of the same age group that really would appreciate this period of music and i think even the younger people it's really hard not to appreciate uh the amazing talent of this guy 1942 to 1970. People out of respect leave their guitar picks here. She is walking through the clouds with the circus wind. It's, it's uh, beautiful lyrics to some of his songs. Voodoo Child, again, one of my favorite songs of uh, Jimi Hendrix. So quite a treat here. I, I really have, I lived in Seattle for, like I said, almost 17 years and never made it here. Uh, so it's great to be able to come back and uh, actually see the memorial. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this view. If you've been here before, uh, let me know in the comments down below. It's it's a it's a real treat to to visit this uh, this area. Hey guys, and and once again, uh, this is going to be an interesting week. If you like graves, um, th that was Jimi Hendrix's grave, and. Uh, there's two really, I mean, there's quite a few graves, obviously, uh, in a large metropolitan city. But the two most famous graves would be that of Jimi Hendrix, who you saw. And then that, and that was uh, south of Seattle by about 20 miles. And then uh, right inside of Seattle, right where we often will spend the night on Volunteer Park, uh, Lakeview Cemetery is there. And this is where... Uh, Bruce Lee is buried along with his son Brandon Lee. If you don't know Brandon Lee, he was a young actor. He starred in The Crow and um, all types of rumors that the family is cursed and all of these things. But uh, when he was filming uh, one of his movies, the gun was supposed to have blanks that shot him and unfortunately it didn't. So he's buried right next to his father, as you could see on this overlay. and. Uh, I think it's really interesting because I took Kung Fu for quite a while in Seattle in the 80s uh, with a uh, uh, Shalom uh, Kung Fu master named John Luong. I think he's got a, it's a, the, the, it's called the Seattle Kung Fu Club. And he, he knew Bruce Lee at the time. They were uh, um, in the same town practicing Kung Fu at the same time. So they they did know each other but I, I don't know who Bruce Lee was never met him but I did uh, study under John Luong for a little while until I realized that it's much easier to run away or just hit someone with a car so those with those two solutions I decided I no longer had to pay for kung fu classes but uh, regardless um, Bruce Lee is a very famous site okay so let's go on with it um, we took some time in Seattle. What else did we do? Oh, we worked on the van. Take a look. All right, one of the things we're doing in Seattle is taking advantage of a really nice day of about 70 degrees and uh, sanding off all of the uh, 
sorry for the noise this is an industrial area uh, we're gonna be sanding off all of the famous Chevy bad paint that's been peeling and rusting up here all around not so bad on the front side over here some chips uh, up here and up here and some major rust spots up here I don't know if I'm, I'm going to take all the solar panels off. I should take all the solar panels off and give that a good sanding. But I might do that probably right before we're ready to sell the vehicle. Because I may want to save, take off one of the solar panels, a 400 watt one, and keep for myself. And just let them have this larger or this 200 watt one. Uh, but now it's on to work. remember to take the music off when I'm filming because yeah, yeah, uh, YouTube will hear the music and do a copyright infringement because the music is licensed but if you're watching I'm listening to Big Bad Voodoo Daddy so you can put that on if you want to hear what I'm normally hearing you expert painters I don't want to hear it okay don't put it in the comments I'm just this is just a normal schmuck with a spray can so and then finally besides working on the van uh, we got to hang out at Pike Place Market which is one of my favorite uh, places and so check this out This is where they used to be famous for throwing salmon. Uh, when I was here, people would line up and buy a whole salmon just to see them throw them. Oh, here we go. All right, you did get to see it. Uh oh, this is somebody's birthday. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you want everybody to know. This is why we're doing it. Why not, man? Why not, man? Our team! Our team! And then finally, besides Pike Place Market, we went over to the famous Space Needle area and got to hang out and see the Space Needle. What a beautiful day in downtown Seattle. We're going to kick it off and be turistos all day today. Last year when we were here, very bad. Dark orange skies. They didn't have ambulances going by and fire trucks, but... Um, but this now is just beautiful. We're over at the famous Space Needle. Let me see if I can get you. There it is. It doesn't seem like it's very high until you look up. <laughs> there we go. Space Needle. It's like 30 bucks to go up to the top. But financially, it doesn't make sense for us. And also, been there, done that.
Okay, so when all is said and done, it was kind of a fun week. Got to see a lot of different little things, kind of bet. Uh, even though I lived in Seattle for a long time, I haven't been here in 20 or 25 years, so it was great to see some of the tourist areas and revisit those. Um, and oh, we bought a bunch of fishing gear. I've been doing a little bit of fishing here. We are, we're camping right now in West Seattle, kind of on the opposite side of Alki Point and on the western side, which is a beautiful view of the uh, um, Puget Sound and might do a little bit of fishing here. I did some on a, a pier earlier. It's right now low tide, and so you can walk around and, and check all the tidal pools out. Uh, if you've never been to the Northwest or even the, the northern part of the United States on, on the western side, um, it's just, it's a, so much marine life. Under every rock you turn, there seems to be something of interest. And so it's a lot of fun. But anyway, the tide's coming in right now, so I might do a little salmon fishing. And then next month, I think we're going to try to, uh, if we're in the area, uh, do some squid fishing. Squid season comes up in about a month. And so you're gonna be able to see the catch and cook uh, success that we will have with uh, some of our uh, success hopefully we'll have with squid okay that's about it I think I'm gonna go get my fishing rod ready and just kind of relax the rest of today and uh, please write your comments in if you've been to Seattle and there's some really cool places that we've missed um, go ahead and throw those in there otherwise once again thank you guys to the patreon folks I know the rest of you are saying why do you keep saying that it's because these folks are supporting us you know they're giving us you know two bucks or five bucks a month or whatever uh, you can see the link below on our patreon but once again guys we really do appreciate it we spend our money very wisely and conservatively to live the style life anyway um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys again for all of your comments. And uh, we'll see you down the road or next week, whichever comes first.